About a week ago, I moved all of my yearling calves out into this front pasture to let them get a little bit of grass. And now that they've been out here for a week, as you can see, they've got it mowed down pretty good. So today we're gonna move them into this next field and do it all over again. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. But before we move these calves to greener pastures, I thought I'd give you guys an update on my protein sort of mineral supplement that I've been working on with these cows. Over the last few weeks, I've tried a few different mixtures ranging from fairly complicated to quite simple. And now that the dust has kind of settled, what I've found has been working the best for me is to just go half soybean meal and half mineralized salt. The mineralized salt that I've been using is this champion's choice uh, it's a loose salt and it's got selenium and copper and a few other trace minerals in there as well the reason that i'm using this instead of wind and rain is because it's uh, literally a third of the price this bag here is only ten dollars whereas a 50 pound bag of wind and rain is about 35. it's also been very convenient to mix it this way because it's a one-to-one -one ratio of soybean meal to salt and these come in 50 pound bags so i can just put one bag each in the cement mixer here, mix it up and it's ready to go. But back to the calves. Today we are moving from this to this. Now, there's a little bit more that I want to talk about, but these calves are getting impatient and they see me out here talking and I think they kind of know what I'm here to do. So let's get them moved out here first and then we'll talk a little bit about what happened in this past week. The calves are once again happy and just like last week the cows are a little bit annoyed with this whole situation. I had a few people ask me in the last video why the cows couldn't just come out in the pasture with the calves. There's actually a pretty good reason for that. These calves have only been weaned off of their mothers for about two or three months so what can happen if I put them all back together too soon is the calves will figure out who their mom is again and start nursing. Now mom is just about ready to have a calf so she might be making some milk and she's got that maternal instinct running hard 
and it's not uncommon for her to let the, the old calf nurse. So the best thing that I can do here is wait until the mother cows have the majority of their calves. Usually by that time, it's pretty safe to put everybody back together. Over the last week, the calves did pretty good out here. There's roughly 40 in that group. I think uh, if I'm being precise, there's 39 of them out there. A 39 head on six acres, you can't expect it to last very long, and it didn't. They didn't graze this down into oblivion to the point where it's not going to recover, but they definitely got their money's worth. And even with them eating all that forage, they still were consuming some hay. I would say that having the calves out here on the grass definitely worked to my advantage because while they were still consuming some hay, the hay use was cut by about 75%, which is really quite significant. Now the way that they consumed it though was a little unbalanced. I would say the first two or three days that they were out here, they didn't even want to touch the hay. They had no interest in it. And as they got this eaten down by, by we'll say yesterday, the last day that they were out here, they consumed every last flake of hay that I gave them. The next step for this pasture is to get some water on it. I need to get this irrigated as fast as I can because I want this pasture to have the maximum amount of time to recover because next weekend, the mother cows are gonna come out here. Mother cows are very close to calving and when we start getting near that time, I got to make sure that they're out here on pasture because I don't want them having calves here in the dry lot. The plan for these calves now is to graze this new pasture for another week. Now, unlike the first pasture, this pasture is a little bit bigger, although not by much. This is eight acres. The first one was six acres. So maybe, hopefully, we'll see even more of a hay reduction. So for now, all we really have left to do is just kind of let these guys do their thing and eat this grass down. Thanks for hanging out at the ranch with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Before we go though, I wanted to take a minute and tell my wife and daughter how much I like the shirts that they're wearing. We wanted to say how much we love yours. If you guys like these shirts, you want to get one and help support the channel, check out our Teespring link in the description below. <laughs>